What's up? Hope all is well wherever you at. Welcome back to the channel at Javon Celeb Products LLC. Before we continue, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and I want you to share this video with all your friends on social media so this way everybody can benefit, right? So today, the topic is going to be focus on your money because she will leave you when you go broke. Focus on your money because she will leave you when you go broke, right? Now, this video is specifically for men, right? And I know a lot of women is going to get offended by this video, but y'all already know my how I, how I feel, right? I really don't care, right? You know, um, now, I want to say something very important. There is an exception to this rule, right? Now, all women don't fall in this category, right? There are some loyal women out there, right? But they are very few in number. And if you have one of those women, then you are blessed and don't take her for granted, right? However, the time that we live in it now is different. You know, like, for example, when my grandmother and my grandfather was growing up, excuse me, when they was together, right? Back in those days, and even if we study history through our books, right? It was real love back then, you know? Like, I would see my grandmother and my grandfather, for example, my grandmother, she might, she, you know, she, she, she was a, you know, she had a hot mouth. She might be saying stuff to him. She might be, you know, as we say in Trinidad, she might be quarreling, right? And my grandfather would just be sitting there looking at her quiet, right? But you know what I realized? It was true love because even though all this would happen, I will still see my grandmother clip my grandfather toenails, rub his back, you know what I'm saying? Prepare his food, right? And it was real love, right? It wasn't about no money. It was real love, you know? And... I seen this at the most critical time in my grandfather's life before he died because as he got sick and his sickness, you know, started to perpetuate, I seen the love more. I seen the care more with my grandmother. It wasn't about no money, right? But now, the time that we living in now, Right? You will never know how a woman really feel about you unless you meet her when she when you broke. But if you got money, you ain't gonna never know. You ain't gonna never know. This is why you will find that a lot of wealthy people they will have a wife, you know. A spouse that's somewhat on the same level in that area or better or above them, right? And then you will find like broke people will be most of the time they be broke together. But if you got money and you dealing with somebody that's broke, that's very dangerous. Because you will never know how that person really feel about you. Because the money is there. Especially when it's the man that have the money and it's the woman. Because what a lot of guys fail to realize is this. 
woman always gonna have men that's trying to holler at her, right? And she always gonna have a lot of options because guys are just so stupid and desperate, right? Now, what you think gonna happen in 2020 now, the way the world is, if you struggling, if you trying to build yourself up and then she meets somebody that's got it all, you think she gonna stay with you? You think she gonna persevere when the world is moving so rapidly, so fast? You think she gonna stay invited out with you? Them days is over. This not the 18th century. This not the 19th century. Them days is done. Right? She gonna leave you. And if you invested so much time into her, financially, emotionally, you gonna feel hurt. Right? And another thing I see now with a lot of women, right, is that let's say if a guy, you know, he out there grinding throughout the day, he trying to, he trying to, you know, he trying to do what he can. Let's say he had a bad day in business. Let's say he only made a dollar. Let's say he only made $5, maybe $10. Maybe he didn't make nothing, but he went out and he did the most important thing, regardless of how much money he made. He put forth his effort. And now the way that the world is, women don't respect effort. They respect only results that take that they can see. If they don't see no results, it don't count. And instead of uplifting the man, I see that a lot of women will belittle him, make him feel small. What 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 I'm gonna do with the, what what the fuck is a dollar? What I'm gonna do with a dollar? What's that? We can't do nothing with that. Instead of being open minded and think, well, I wonder what my husband day was like, what did he have to go through to get that dollar? Maybe his self-esteem is down because he didn't make so much. Instead of doing that and the woman being open-minded and realizing that he had a, he had a rough day in the market and him coming home, knowing that he gonna hear your mouth because he know your personality. Might lead him to go drink. Right? He want to go hang out with the guys at the club and just get toasted. Just because he know when he go home, he going to hear your mouth. Right? I'm not saying that he should be doing that, but that's, that's the reality. Right? And now, he know when he come home, he going to hear your mouth. Instead of uplifting him and saying, yo, you know what? Babe, it's going to get better. Don't worry about it. I appreciate you. You know, I know you're trying. I know you're doing what you can. And that's what's most important. And I'm going to ride this out with you no matter how tough it gets. We don't have those type of women no more. The women that's available now, a lot of them in the world, they Instagram models. They more concerned with catering to or attending to or paying attention to likes and followers on Instagram than they more focus on the emotional needs of their husband. Or the emotional needs in some cases of even their kids and their family. They more concerned with likes and followers then they are concerned with what's going on in their household. That's crazy. This is the type, this is the world we living in today. This is the mindset of the woman. Right? And a lot of women don't realize this. You think you helping a man, you think that a man just supposed to be tough all the time. Like if, like if, like if men, we don't got emotions. We process our emotions differently from women, of course. Yes, but we still have emotions. 
And now you expect a man to just be like this brick wall and say whatever to him, not realizing that the most powerful thing a woman has, aside from her, her vagina, is her tongue. A woman tongue, that shit can move mountains, man. It can move mountains. You gonna tell him, yo, what I'm gonna do with this? So you making him feel bad. But do you know? Ladies, just imagine. For example, I'll give you a quick example. Just imagine. For example, let's say your husband, he got y'all coming from the grocery store or something. And he got bags in his hand. He got he you no know, he let's say he got four bags. And you got only one bag in your hand. And you say, and you say, babe, you know what, man? I love when you carry these bags. I, I could see the triceps in you, your muscles, your biceps. I could see it popping out your shirt. You look so sexy. And man, wow, man. I just love seeing you. You look so strong and masculine. What you think he going to do? He going to say, yeah? Yeah? Yeah, g give me those two bags. Now you ain't walking with no bags. He got all the bags now. He, 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 he feeling good because you you done, you done put that confidence in him, right? You uplifting him now. So you giving him the strength to go on, right? Women don't realize this. A woman is a man weakness. But a man is a woman's strength. So when you tell him stuff like that, or you give him that encouragement, you know what? I know you only made $20 this week, but I believe in you because I like I, I just see something in you, and I know next week is going to be better. You're going to make $300. He's going to be like, yeah? <laughs> he, yeah? Now, now his mind, the cortex part, the cortex part of his brain is is activating now rapidly. Because you 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 putting that food in him now. You inspiring him now. So now he feel motivated. Like yeah, I, like I gotta get this money. My wife, she 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 expected me to get this money. She uplifted me. She told me all these nice things. I felt good. I'ma go on the grind. I'ma make so much money today. And guess what happened? Instead of making three hundred, he might make a band. He might make a rap. Right? Because women don't realize instead of belittling your man and making him feel like shit when you when you uplift him. He going to perform better. He going to perform better. So fellas. I'm telling you. Stop chasing these women. Focus on your money. Focus on your money. Stop chasing these women. Because when you go broke. They going to disappear. They going to leave you. They going to. I'm telling you, they gonna go. And if you got a good woman, and she with you while you broke, you better hold her tight. Don't take her for granted. Because to find these women right now, to to find those kind of women in the world right now, it's very hard. We got, like I said, we got a whole bunch of Instagram models, a whole bunch of women with wigs on their head. You know, who want? Who want to wear of uh, uh, false nails, living a delu uh, de living a delusion, right? They want to look like a good woman instead of being a good woman. Y'all, y'all, y'all guys, y'all better be careful, right? And take heed to this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.
Jerome Celeb Products, LLC. I love y'all. Stay blessed.